Hello friends, today we have these two gears which is given to me by my friend and we are going to play a game with these two gear systems. Let's come. So here we have two, two gears, one is the bigger one and another one is the smaller one. So closely of the, observe the number of teeth on both the gears. So if the bigger one contains 32 teeth and the smaller one has 16 teeth. You can also see two arrows which are pointing towards each other. The question is, after how many rotation of the smaller gear, both the arrows will meet again? Yeah. So now we are going to see the solution. Let's try rotating the smaller gear in clockwise direction. So this is one rotation. And both the arrows are meeting again after two rotations. Okay, so I think this was pretty easy. So let's make it more challenging. So now I'm going to replace the smaller gear, which is which was having 16 teeth, with a larger one. And this gear has 24 teeth. Now I repeat the same question. After how many rotation of the 24 teeth gear, both the arrows will meet again. So let's see after how many rotation of the smaller smaller gear, both the arrows will meet again. So this is one. This two. This three. Oh whoa. After four rotation, the 30, 32 teeth and the 24 teeth arrows are meeting again. So what exactly is LCM of two numbers? The LCM of two numbers is the smallest non-zero multiple common to both the numbers. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we need to calculate LCM of 24 and 32. So first we will calculate the multiples of 24, which are 24, 48, 72, 96 and so on. In a similar way, we will calculate multiple of 32, which are 32, 64, 96, 128 and so on. We can also visualize this in the event diagram. Here we see that the common multiples of both 24 and 32 are 96 and 192. And the smallest among both of these is 96. So we say that the LCM of 24 and 32 is 96. Now can you apply the concept of LCM to find when the arrows will meet in a two-gear system? Post your reply in the comments below. Happy tinkering!